Hi, everybody. Joe for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com, coming at you on a Thursday. Beautiful, beautiful Thursday with that right there. 2019 Panini Absolute Football, six box inner case, pick your team three. It's an odd number, so generally speaking, odd numbers are either the first half of a case or the first inner from a fresh master case. First off, big thanks to all of these amazing people here for getting into the action. Appreciate it. Thanks for spending a bit of your Thursday night with me. Watching a little Pittsburgh, Carolina right now. It's a close game. Carolina's up by a one. Eight minutes left in the fourth. Now you notice some RNBs right there. That means random number block. So here are the random number block teams right up there. So it works just like a number block break for those teams and only for that break. So good luck to the people here. Now, as I said in the, in the randomizer video, there's a, there are going to be a lot of non-numbered cards. So those will be collected as one lot. We'll group them all together and randomize them to one person on this list right here. Winner take all. Fresh case, right back here. So let's pop this guy open. We'll roll the die and we'll see which one we're going to do. Mr. Mike Zanny, what's going on, Chris? Just in time for Breaksville. All right, so we'll go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six. With, I'll use that one back there. Standing rule, ladies and gentlemen, if I roll all sixes when I tumble these out of this little box here. I'll give away $6 of break credit. Just for fun. It's, it hasn't happened yet though. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's six. So we're going to do the right side. So this side, we're going to do right now for Pick Your Team 3. hard to see, but there it is. You see three right there on the top. And this right here will be for PYT, pick your team number four. There, there's number three right there. Are you guessing five, Don? You were close on the dice roll. All right, two four and six, and you can see some of the boxes that are off camera. You can see it on the Nick cam above my head. All right, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Looking for five things, three autos and two mems per box on average. I think every once in a while there are points that pop out of here. If there are any points, we'll randomize them to one person in the break. In that event, if it lands on a number block team, then I'll randomize the names in the number block to see who gets the points. It's like a little inception there. All right, good luck, everybody. Pick your team four is in the store. So go and get that. And I would get your teams. Uh, I would get your team straight up before we find some teams being tucked away into a number block. Unless you like the number blocks, then just wait. You can see them on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got a divisional, a half case divisional that's pretty close too, ladies and gentlemen. I think there's one division left straight up. 
which which would sell it out, and then we can do one of those Gold Rush eight by ten breaks where you can where three of the nineteen spots that we sell can win spots in the Absolute Football Divisional, and you can chase a, uh, a photo too, autograph photo. So I'm gonna put put those cards on the box right there as a sort of staging ground. We'll sleeve and top load these later. Separate these out here. Dak Prescott to a hundred, Darius uh, Slayton to one ninety nine, and the hit is quad relic and autograph Damian Harris. Nice four out of twenty five. Some some great relics in there. Rookie premier materials. It's pretty nice. Top load all of those two. Ooh, one of one Sam Darnold. The Jets are a number block team. So who gets that plate? Paul Hutchins does. There you go, Paul. All aboard the Big Head Express. Whoop whoop. We've got Flacco and Trubisky, and we've got Gardner Minshew, the second. 13 out of 100 for the Jaguars. That'll be for Matthew Hedges. Out of 100, yeah, Matthew Hedges with that one. Then you've got Kenny Galladay, 36 out of 75, triple relic for the Lions. Travis Melberg with Detroit. We got Garoppolo to 75 for the Niners. We got Dak Prescott to 50 now on that one. Then we have Jared Goff. Tools of the trade. 40 out of 49. I'm a man. I'm 40. That'll be for the Rams. Jeff Mason. And the autograph is Nikhil Harry. 26 out of 40. Out of 40? I'm a man. I'm 40. That'll be for the Pat Riots. Matt Johnson with that. Um... Folks, anything interesting going on in any of these preseason games? I actually have not been paying attention to it. I know not a lot of starters are playing. Nothing's too exciting, but a lot of a lot of battles, right? A lot of a lot of guys trying to be, you know, roster number fifty-two or fifty-three, and want to be one of the last few guys to get on that team. So there should be some battling here. I've got the. Pittsburgh Carolina game on TV here. That's what I've been kind of half watching. Carolina still up 17 16, five minutes left in the game. We got Patriots up 29 13 on the Giants, about eight minutes left in the third quarter. Packers 20 to 10. Looks like the second half just getting underway. Um, not too much happening in Dallas. Cowboys are up 9 7 on the Buccaneers. The second half just started. Chargers are on NFL Network, it looks like, a little bit later tonight. And then Raiders are at the Seahawks. Kind of their traditional last preseason game of the year seems to be those two teams, at least in recent years. That might be on local TV for us here. I'll have to check that out. Team Trios to 100. Chargers. Might see Hunter Renfro in action tonight. Might see, I don't think we'll see Josh Jacobs in action tonight. But that's a nice rookie premier material. Triple relic and autograph to 149. Uh, 
that's an autograph right on the bottom. There's Ezekiel Elliott, 50. We got Juju Smith Schuster, 28 out of 75, triple relic. Everyone done their uh, fantasy drafts? Anything interesting on your fantasy teams, folks? There's Nick Chubb, signature standouts, 24 out of 25. I think that Browns offense could be really interesting this year. Like to see how that works. Oh, Cleveland Browns are a number block team. 24 out of 25. Browns four. Jeff Mason, last spot mojo. Paul, you've got yours on Sunday. Are you are you targeting anyone in particular? What is you have a brief insight on your strategy? There's Deshaun Watson to a hundred. How big's your league? I'm in a two quarterback, twelve team two QB league, which the two quarterbacks make it pretty tough in a twelve teamer. There's Zach Ertz, seven out of ninety nine. Everyone's got to draft quarterbacks. My buddy drafted Andrew. We did it the week before Luck retired. 400 points. We'll randomize that. So there's been some, some a little bit of drama already. Gotcha. Eighth pick in a snake draft. In a 10-man snake draft. So not sure yet. El Cannon says, I got the worst draft grade in my entire league. So I got that going. For, well, t tell, tell us about I'll grade it. How many, how many teams in the league? Who did you draft? Those draft grades are kind of kind of garbage, though. It's just there's just, just there to to make you concerned about your team. Just because you went oppo some experts, you know, and oppo some like rankings, maybe drafted one guy a little earlier than you thought. But if you really like him, you know, then they'll be like. L Cannon. You have to give him a C minus because he drafted Josh Jacobs five rounds earlier than he should have. Use this as a staging ground here. There's Josh Allen, QB Josh Allen. There's Gridiron Force, Randy White for the Cowboys, 75. Our Seagull Whiteside to 199 for the Eagles. And we've got Devin Singletary. Some nice relics for out of 99. 13 out of 99. Triple relic and autograph for the Bills, Jeff Mason. All right, Zola Cannon has Carr, Edelman, Galladay, McCaffrey, Philip Lindsay, Kittle, Curtis Samuel. Uh, Goskowski and the Denver defense. And what what grade did they give you? And who, what what site is this? Are you on CBS, Yahoo? What grade did they give you? Eighty four out of hundred. Josh Norman. And kaboom! Julio Jones. Julio! Serenity with the ATL. Gets the one per master case. Kaboom insert. I love these. Two out of ten. Boom! I love these. And we've got a War Room Relic, 34 out of 130, Gary Jennings Jr. Brian Langley with the Seahawks. Over under on how many times announcers will say Greg Jennings. And Justice is going to be served to the Ravens. That's a number block team. 7 out of 25. Ravens 7. Tim Langston. There you go, Tim. Justice Hill for you. So Yahoo gave you a C minus L can? No, that, that's not a C minus team. Yeah, 
What does Yahoo know? Yeah, Melcan's not worried. He's like, I ain't worried about it. There's DK Metcalf to 100. Canton Absolutes, 197 out of 199. Derek Carr is not a bad QB. He's pretty solid. I think he might have a little bit of a revival now that he's got a couple years under the Gruden system and he's got some additional weapons around him. He's got to be better, right, with Antonio Brown? Antonio Brown's going to make a lot of QBs better. Three-color patch and autograph, Sony Michelle, 21 out of 30. Those corners aren't as sharp as I wish they were, especially down there. Edelman, I think, is going to be solid. Kenny Galladay could have a breakout year. Christian McCaffrey, I mean, are you in a PPR league? Is it If it's point per reception, I mean, McCaffrey would, good, would be good in either format, but, I mean, McCaffrey's really versatile. He's, he's going to be involved in that offense a lot. Not PPR, yeah, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a non-PPR as well, but Christian McCaffrey's still solid. We'll see if Phil Lindsay can, can keep doing his thing in Denver. Kittle, obviously, is one of the top tight ends in the, in, in the league, so you're great there. Curry Samuel, not bad. You know, we'll see how he does in, in that flex spot. You can stream that position right there. Solid kicker, solid D. Done. That's all right. 12-team league? Yeah, you. Want, I mean, just like any league, you want you want everyone to stay healthy and... Maybe perform a little above expectation, but it's a solid start so far. I don't know how you figure out the grades. Some sites don't do the auto grade. Sometimes they email it to you automatically. I don't know. I think draft day sometimes will be like, or next day you can go to your My Team page. It might be there. Yeah, I think Gruden kind of stifled him, Elkan, because there was just no one to, no one to, Take shots down the field. Who are you going to throw it to? You know, Jared Cook? But now that they got some weapons, Tyrell Williams, guys that can stretch the field, great route runners like Antonio Brown. So, nice. There we go. Speaking of the Raiders, you got Josh Jacobs in here. He could be a really dynamic player. There's Darius Slayton to 199. And... The redemption is A.J. Brown for the Titans. Zach Wilson with the Tennessee Titans. Rookie Premier Materials Auto Jumbo. There you go. This guy could be interesting too. That's an auto on the bottom right there. All right, there's a little Jordan Humphrey to 100. Roquan Smith, 4 out of 50. Christian McCaffrey, Cam Newton, DJ Moore. The Judge, Judge Ito, Smith, 18 out of 25. Tools of the Trade dual relic for the ATL, Serenity. And the auto here is signature standouts, Deonta Hightower for the Patriots, 7 out of 25. We got Cameron Brate, 75. And we got Tyler Lockett. That's a cool relic right there. 75 out of 99 for the Seahawks, Brian Langley. I feel like if he could stay healthy, he always seems to have like foot issues. If he could stay healthy, I feel like 
Like he could have a really nice season. All the special team stuff and his speed. 20 out of 100, Miles Gaskin for the Dolphins. Ryan Redmond. All right, two boxes to go. Like I said, the second half of this master case is in stores already. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Go and get it. Grab your teams. And we've got, we're pretty close on divisionals. We've got to do, I think we have still have to sell out one more spot straight up. And then a pretty easy 8x10 where we're giving away spots in that divisional. And we can make that happen pretty quickly. And 17 teams left in absolute number four. So we're almost halfway there on that one. So I would advise everyone to snag their teams on jazbeescasebreaks.com before, uh, before it ends up in a team random, which it most likely will be shortly after this break is over. Looks like some other, it looks like a baseball break is getting really close too. So we have about, what time is it now? I've well, got about three hours left in the broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. So... Kind of, we have a lot of time, but we're kind of running out of time too. Here's Mike Evans to 50. So let's make it happen, folks. Red zone to 100. We've got Josh Allen, defensive end Josh Allen to 199. And we've got triple relic and autograph. That's Deontay Johnson. 212 out of 249. Michael Gallucci, seal curtain with the Steelers, who are now down additional points now. It's preseason, no one cares. <laughs> Steelers, I think, should be fine. They're distraction free now. They could let, uh, I think, some of the young guys there Juju Smith Schuster, Benny Snell Jr., young guys like him could kind of. Bring some some uh, fresh blood into that team. Rejuvenate Big Ben, maybe. Could be interesting. I don't know. I love this time of year. Hope springs eternal. You can, you can say good things about every team. They're, like what team is just gonna be just god awful, <laughs> just out of the gate? You know, you can find hope in any team. You know, you can look at the. The Dolphins are going to be like, all right, well, if Josh Rosen gets the proper opportunity, you know, he could show why he was the former number one. Then you're going to think about all that sort of stuff. You know, it's like, hey, maybe maybe Andrew Luck. With Andrew Luck, you got, got other guys out there. Maybe Derrick Henry starts taking over games for the Titans. You know, who needs Melvin Gordon? Huh? That'll just open up doors for, like, Austin Eckler and guys like him. 54 out of 75, tools of the trade, triple relic. Connor with the Chargers. It'll be interesting to see what happens to him. And then we got the Bengals. Stanley Morgan is like, hey, maybe, maybe Andy Dalton, this is the year. He, new coaching staff, fresh view on the NFL. He goes back to his red rifle ways. Stanley Morgan Jr., Bengals. That's a number block team. So that will go to Bengals 3. Tim Langson with that one. All right, Elkan has a has a yeah. We'll be happy to answer fantasy questions all season long, ladies and gentlemen. So stay with Jaspies. We love talking about this stuff. Elkan is saying, should I start Roethlisberger at Patriots or Carr at home against the Broncos for Week One? Derek Carr at home, but don't listen to me because I'm a Raiders fan. <laughs> it's great iron, for, but Raiders generally play play well against the Raiders. They always gear up for the Raiders. It's their first home opener and their last year in Oakland, so there's a little bit of sort of that psychological motivation there. I know Gruden wants to come out of the gate, you know, and show off all the weapons that the Raiders have now. We got Dak Prescott, 37 out of 49. And if if anything, the Raiders will be trailing, right? <laughs> if their defense doesn't shore up, they'll be trailing. They gotta throw. 
Dak Prescott relic, which is some nice color in there, goes to SKS. The Nick Bosa autograph is nice too. 39 out of 40. I think the Niners are a number block team. So 39. San Francisco 9. Stephen Kendrick on the board. Nice Nick Bosa. I don't know. What does everyone else think? Roethlisberger at the Patriots or Carr at home against the Broncos? Al Cannon likes Carr as well, but has lower projection. I think I'm going to start him though. It's it's yeah. I th I think the Steelers are going to have a have a solid season, but I don't know. I I also think that the Steelers always start slow. Think about it, like look at the last few seasons. Don't they always start slow? Like they almost lost the Browns a couple times, and they just don't look good, and you know. But then all of a sudden that you blink, and at the end of the season they have like ten or eleven wins. You're like, how did that happen? Did they start out like 0 and 3? So, Page have a decent defense. I, I don't know. You see, I mean, it's kind of hard to go against the Patriots at home on a home opener when Belichick has like weeks to 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 prepare for this first week one matchup. You know what I mean? One of one, Derrick Henry. Zach Wilson with the Titans. A base card one of one. Not bad. That's pretty cool. I think they kind of discovered how to deploy this guy last year. So let's see if this guy continues to be a beast. Zach, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Team Trios to 100. Debo Samuel to number one. Paul Hutchins. Jimmy Garoppolo. Gary Jennings Jr., nice, out of 299, triple relic and autograph. Seahawks, Brian Langley with the Hawks. So Paul Warren, by the way, going back to that quick conversation, Paul Warren says Big Ben. He thinks uh, a Juju and Connor are going to go off. Catboy says Carr. Rich says Carr. There's Miles Sanders to 100. Eagles. There's the newly retired Andrew Luck. Leonard Fournette. And Dylan Mitchell to 199. And nice. That's a Daniel Jones autograph. 20 out of 35. Were the Giants picked up straight up? Yes, they were by Leonard. Twenty out of thirty-five. Nice, Dan. Who was saying? Who was saying yesterday? I forgot. Someone was saying yesterday. Man, they should just they should just send Eli to send Eli to Indianapolis, have him take hey have him take Lux place, you know, and then just elevate Daniel Jones. Let's just start the Daniel Jones era. All right, last one. We got George Kittle, 51 out of 75. We've got Martinez. We got Jones. We got War Room Nikhil Harry. And behind him is an Alex Barnes autograph for Zach and the Titans. Fresh off his first one of one. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your break. Patriot Matt Johnson had a nice break too. Seemed like there were a lot of Patriots 
especially early on in the break. Here's another one here, Nikhil Harry. Let's give this away. And let's see who wins the uh, non-numbered cards, which I'll sort out in a little bit. All right. So everyone gets a shot at the 400 point with a decent amount of points. Even if you don't like points, they'll, they'll, people still buy them up on eBay. They'll snap those up. And let's randomize these names too. So the name on top for the full list will get the, uh, well, if it's number block team, what do I do? Then I'll have to do this. So then we'll have another randomizer just in case. Okay. Anyway, we'll, we'll wing it. Let's roll it and randomize it six times. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, we've got the Jets on top who are a number block team. So now let's go here and we'll use the same dice roll. Six times, name on top gets the points. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. And it's Jeff Mason, last spot mojo. So there you go, Jeff, 400 points. And now let's grab the list again. And see who gets the non-numbered cards for all of those teams. Once again, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. And that will go to Jack. So any non-numbered cards there. I think all the hits were numbered, Jack, but there's gotta be some uh, non-numbered base cards in here that you will that you will get. So a little consolation for you. Thanks everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.